orthomolecular medicine, orthomolecular psychiatry, orthomolecular... Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Chase Corrington, and this is the Chase Corrington YouTube channel, where we seek to achieve and maintain happiness through enlightenment. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about orthomolecular medicine, orthomolecular psychiatry, and orthomolecular itself to understand what it is and why it's important for us and how it can change lives and not only change lives but save lives ladies and gentlemen and so orthomolecular medicine what is it and why is it important well what does it mean first of all and I thought in my head orthomolecular medicine well orthomolecular by itself has to mean something ortho it's got to mean something. So I went to the word orthomolecular. And what does it mean? Well, orthomolecular is an adjective pertaining to a theory that illness can be treated. Ah, treated. I hate that word. That's the sick care system, the modern medicine system. will treat your symptoms and give you a pharmaceutical and will send you on your way so you'll be back in two weeks needing more, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but what does it mean? Well, orthomolecular is an adjective pertaining to a theory that illness can be taken care of and health maximized by creating the optimal molecular environment for the cells of the body through the introduction of natural substances. Now that's kind of complex. So let me say it a little bit slower once again. Health maximized by creating the optimal molecular environment for the cells of the body through the introduction of natural substances, ladies and gentlemen. Or as I've heard it put before, using what already exists in the body naturally. So that's orthomolecular just by itself. Now, orthomolecular medicine describes the practice of preventing and treating, there's that word again, preventing and taking care of disease by providing the body with optimal amounts of substances which are natural to the body. Orthomolecular treatment does not lend itself to rapid drug-like control of symptoms, but patients get well to a degree not seen by tranquilizer therapists who believe orthomolecular therapists are prone to exaggeration, like they're just making stuff up. So these these tranquilizer therapists, they're not down with what the orthomolecular therapists are throwing out there, ladies and gentlemen. They think they're prone to exaggeration. Those who have seen the results are astonished. That was a quote from Abram Hoffer, MD, PhD, orthomolecular.org. Now I edited that quote a little bit and added my own words in, so I'm sorry if I destroyed it, but go to orthomolecular.org and figure out some information for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Is there ever going to be a way for us, is there ever going to be a way for us to become optimized, or get well, or be happier, or do what we need to make our bodies function properly? or help our bodies to function the way that they need to function naturally without using foreign contaminants, ladies and gentlemen. Is there ever going to be a way for us to become optimized, happier, healthier, fully functioning people without using these foreign contaminants like pharmaceuticals and radiation treatments and all these other things that we know in the end aren't natural to the body? And so... I always think of Wally, the foreign contaminant, foreign contaminant. And so, if you like Wally, leave a comment. That's a great movie. I think it has a lot of information hidden in there, ladies and gentlemen. But let me get back to what I was saying here. Foreign contaminants that aren't natural to the body to begin with. And can we ever do this as a mass? 
as a mass, a large group of people, the world, can we come together and create a place where we can get healthy and be healthy without using foreign contaminants? <laughs> and can we ever do this as a mass? More than just a few. We need the whole world to smarten up, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean. And there was a testimony I read while I was doing a little research on this. It told a story of an elderly woman who was diagnosed with 48 hours to live. They told her, you got 48 hours to live. We're sorry. With nothing to lose, the daughter, her daughter, began using orthomolecular principles. Long story short, she not only lived past two days, she not only lived a year, she not only lived three years, but can you guess how much further she lived past two days, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it was 12 years after being diagnosed with 48 hours to live through the use of orthomolecular principles, after her daughter studying and understanding how to apply these things, she lived a further 12 years, ladies and gentlemen. At the end, the daughter said, Thank you, Linus Pauling. Who is Linus Pauling and why that was pretty mysterious? I have some idea of who it is by listening to great podcasts and doing a little bit of research and reading myself. But Linus Pauling was the biochemist and author that coined the term orthomolecular. Not to mention his being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. We'll just not mention that, even though that's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. But he co-edited a book written by David Hawkins, the creator of the Scale of Consciousness, and, you know, that we should all be f familiar with. You should be familiar with the Scale of Consciousness. If you're not, then I suggest getting Power Versus Force by David Hawkins and reading it, and you'll have a better understanding of consciousness through the practice of kinesiology. But Linus Pauling co-edited Orthomolecular Psychiatry, written by David Hawkins, which, discussed, which discusses research findings, clinical procedures, and the theoretical basis for the application of orthomolecular principles to cases of many kinds, such as alcoholism, drug addiction, and even schizophrenia. So ladies and gentlemen, this is impactful in not only the lives of terminally ill people, but the lives of people that are addicted to drinking alcohol. And this can help people of many kinds. And so, if this kind of stuff interests you, if this kind of stuff pops a spark in your mind and says, wow, maybe there's more to this, if this kind of stuff changes your way of thinking, if you think this kind of stuff can change and save the life of somebody you know, then I suggest getting that book. But it is obvious that from drug addiction to terminal illness, orthomolecular studies can not only change the lives, but most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, save the lives of many. And imagine how it can help even when we're not addicted. Imagine how it can help, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine how it can help when we're not addicted or ill. Imagine how it can help when we're doing great. Could we reach a higher potential? I think so, ladies and gentlemen. Well, if you get value from the content that I provide, if you get value from the ideas that I throw out there, you should consider subscribing. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Chase Corrington, and this is the Chase Corrington YouTube channel where we seek to achieve and maintain happiness through enlightenment. Like the video if you like what I'm sharing. If it's not something that you're unwilling to do, ladies and gentlemen, let me pre repeat that. 
if it's not something that you're unwilling to do, don't hold it against me, ladies and gentlemen, because it's up to you. I just want to close with this. A great quote. The, the doctor of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs, but will rather cure the prevention cure the prevention. We'll rather cure and prevent disease with nutrition. And it was Thomas Edison who said that, ladies and gentlemen. The doctor of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs, but will rather cure and prevent disease with nutrition. In the end, ladies and gentlemen, we will win. And in the end, ladies and gentlemen, we can win. And this is how we will win. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Chase Corrington YouTube channel seeking to achieve and maintain happiness through enlightenment. We'll be back in the future with some more quality ideas to throw your way.